TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, if you miss any lives, don't forget they are up here. They are here, man. You can go check them out, man. It is what it is. Uh, don't forget we do got the Discord. Y'all know what that is. You go drop your request in there. I'm going to fix the screen. Just give me a second. And don't forget we do got the Patreon. This is a list that needs to be updated of what's on there. Um, this is what makes the channel able to be the channel, man. It pays all the bills. Or it pays some of them, but it pays a good amount. The ones that matter, this one does. <laughs> uh tonight i'm recording these videos the night before so this this right here the lit one enters the lab i'm be i'm i'll be on a podcast in 44 45 minutes so don't forget to check that out the link to this will be down in the description as well man go support go love, show some love man uh go watch i don't know what they're gonna ask me saria i don't know so We'll figure it out when it's time. Let's get into this though, man. This is, I want to do one of these little 20, 30 minute ones. All right, we could get this in, man. Uh, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hyundai Ionic 6. London's, London's deadly gang culture to UK drill. A real and honest interview. Lil this Tesla Spike. Model 3. Look what Ionic 6. Okay. Skip that. Uh, let's get into it, man. Have you ever seen a man get ripped out his coat and it looked like blood and rabbit hair? <laughs> yeah, that's a dark lyric still. What does that mean? Put it this way, I mean, if you've ever seen someone wearing a jacket or anything that contains fur in it, you know that means you can relate to the bar. It just means, isn't it? When you see someone get stabbed up bad, you see clothing and blood in it. Have you ever seen a man get ripped out his coat and it looked like blood and rabbit hair? And if you... I don't think I heard that yeah. song, buddy. My childhood was traumatic, so, that, so to speak. Yeah, it wasn't great, but... Mm -hmm. When you say traumatic? So uh, basically, four days even before <laughs> I was even there, my father was shot and killed in Brixton. <laughs> and... Just being born into that, around that, because my, my, my dad was a big part in it, to everything around him. So when he was sort of murdered, it's like a lot changed. So I didn't really, brought, I wasn't brought into a happy, loving environment. It was like, cool, it's my family, but what? Why is everyone, why is everyone so sad? He was born into the darkness. Sad. You get me? RIP. All the time. My dad's not here. I knew that from very young, because this is why everyone's so sad. It's like, so now I know my dad's not here. I know something's not, not right, something's missing, you know? So it's just like, and then as a result of that, my mum had three young kids, hard to juggle. She didn't, she wasn't always confident. She didn't always, you get me, have the answers as you wouldn't at the age she was with young kids. And then when my dad left, it's not always the easiest stress to deal with. And then, yeah, it was a bouncy, rocky road. Um, and what was your education like? My education was, I would say, I didn't end. Just say it. You was dumb as hell at school. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. That's the, that's what the face he made. He was, ah. Up, getting what I know I could have got out of education, but yeah, education was always, if I was interested and I liked the topic, I would excel. Uh, no cap, man. I I was just get, I was joking when I said what I said, but but like I feel you. I was the same way in school. It was in, uninterested as hell. But if I took an interest to the topic, then I'm rocking with it. A's across. But the if world. I was even distracted because I got ADHD, got short concentration span, I don't really not. If I'm not interested in something, it's hard to get me to sit down and focus. So it's like at school, yeah, I would because I was browsing top sets, but. I was naughty, so I didn't even end up finishing school in the, in the end. So what did you end up doing instead? I got kicked out my senior year. I was on the road more time still, so be real, so it's like... Had to go to an alternative school to graduate. Even while I was at school and that, after school, I'm going to the road. But then, yeah, it ends up that when school's not in the picture anymore, you just got road, you're just on the road. All the time, when you leave your yard. 
And again, what would, what's the definition of, of being on road? What, what are you doing? Yeah, Eva. Shout out to the Taboo Room too, man. They be dropping some bangers, man. Salutable stuff. <laughs> outside doing nothing. You're outside trying to get some money, trying to hustle. Or you're just causing trouble. You've got nothing to do. You're either finding, trying to find something to do. And sometimes that leads into doing nothing. Like, I remember being young sometimes, being outside. Nothing really to do. We would rob shops out of boredom, phone pizza men, make them pull up, take pizzas off them, take their bike, phone, whatever. We would rob people. You get it? So it's like when you're outside, the pizza man? you're basically finding shit to do. And majority of the time, nothing good comes to mind, nothing constructive. So it's like, yeah. I guess people would be saying, why not play football? Why not? You would play football sometimes. It wasn't always, but the ratio was off. Where was there really a place where you could go, where you wouldn't have to really pay and book in advance, put down money and go play football? Really and truly. There wasn't really, either you're in a car park somewhere, trying to get a little footy done, can't, people's cars are there, they're coming out complaining, calling the police. But yeah, there was places to play football. We did play football sometimes. We go to the fields, you know. But I guess what I meant by that was, I guess people would say there's there's other things to do. I guess opposed to then cause trouble crime. and yeah, yeah, crime. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there was. But like I said, when you're naughty, that's what comes to your head quicker. You know, when you're really, because I get what he's saying. Like when you when you was brought up to be naughty. Like when you ain't when you was just all you know is not all you know is. Negativity, and when I say negativity, I don't mean the stab, stab, kill, kill negativity. I mean just the naughty nature of who you are. You're going to lean more towards that. Ain't nobody around you positive, so you ain't going to do no positives. All right. When, you, when I say uh, cause trouble, sometimes, yeah, it's like you won't even mean it. You won't even, it won't even be your plan. But because of who you're around and what they're doing. or you, It could all be one person's plan. Yo, can we do this? And when you're young and you, you get me at that age, you're just all saying, yeah, fuck it. So even if I never necessarily wanted to come on my own today and do some fuckery, all it took was one of us to, because we had nothing to do. One idea becomes everyone's idea. Join hundreds of high achievers at the Aspire Tour coming to... So it's like, there was a lot of other things to do, but it's like, whose idea gets in there quick enough? And a lot of the time, when you're all kicked out of school and you're back, to, the group as a collective, you're just no idiots. Uh, <clears throat> and then obviously, you, you're now a drill artist, making music. Mm -hmm. um, and listening to some, some of your music earlier, yeah. um, we were speaking about how some, some of your songs have been taken down mm -hmm. by the police. <laughs> um, Many. Um, and what was that one song in particular that we listened to? Yeah, no, that one, uh, they, that ripped me still, that was Come Outside. That was like, supposed to be my kind of solo single for me that I have put in work, hard work, some fun time into. And I did love this. That's what the police and, and whatnot don't be understanding. Like, like, look at my background. Look what I could be doing. But instead I'm spending hours at the studio putting my time in, 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 into other things, putting my time and energy into rapping, and y'all just make it, y'all, I'm doing all of this, and then y'all take my song down. So it's like, I might as well have been in the streets then. I could have been hustling that whole time. Like, so, so it's like, what was the song about? <laughs> it was just basically me telling anyone that's claiming that they're looking for me, or there's an issue with me, or they want to address me, that I'm outside, you're not get off internet and come outside, then you'll see me. I'm not hard to find. And it's just basically me expressing myself a little bit that. Like, oh, you look like you rappers that I claim you got beef, you got problems with people. Watch this. You all can literally come off the internet and start, you get me? So stop, I don't like the internet stuff, to be honest. So that was me saying that, like, oh, I rap, yeah, cool, but I'm out here. Are you? If that was the sound like you hustling backwards, no offense. You rap, but you out here, boy. Hey, stay in the house. 
I'm rapping. I got something to lose at this point. No. Hey, so why would the police feel the need to take that down? Was there anything else? Because they would say, in it, and to a some extent, it entices, in it. It could lead to further things. Da, 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 but my thing is this: whether it will, whether it won't. That's what's out there. That's on the internet. That's drill. That's how some people make a living. That's how some people you get it and fame, fortune, success in it. So, how did they take it down? They obviously get whatever channel is uploaded onto. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the procedure, the process, because personally, you got, I don't upload videos. But mm, it's one of those things where they will get pressured from the police or a strike on their YouTube channel or something like that, and then the police will get them to basically take it down. They would message the artist and be like, well, we've had to take it down because of X, Y, and Z, and then, yeah. Did the police contact you directly? <clears throat> Never. They don't ever say nothing to the artist. They either go directly to the upload of the video, but I tell it like, we've been saying that, I re-uploaded it, and they never messaged me nothing. They just started getting YouTube to kind of like shadow ban it and make it hard to find. Because I doubt if they message that's, me. That's doable. Well, who knows, innit? It just depends on how, how much they can threaten you. They make it where you can't get in the algorithm and you have to literally put in your name to find it. Within it. With it's me, not, I ain't really got that much subscribers suggested. on my channel. I don't really do the internet thing, but I don't... You don't do the money thing is what you keep saying. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Man, get your mind right. <laughs> Proof and get better, but with them, they got a little platform there, so they're probably more threatened than me if the police message them and say, I'll oh, do this, if not X, Y, Z, you know? If the police said that to me, I'd just probably say, you know what, stick it, innit? And whatever happens, happens. But that's their living, that's their career. They want to protect that, so they probably comply in it. And there's a lyric we were talking about earlier mm. from that, that song again in particular. Um, let me get, get it up. Oh, shit. Which lyric is this now? I believe it was the same tune. The lyric was, have you ever seen a man get ripped out his coat and it looked like blood and rabbit hair. <laughs> yeah, that's a dark lyric still. What does that mean? Put it this way, if you've ever seen someone wearing a jacket or anything that contains fur in it, you know that means you can relate to the bar. It just means, isn't it? When you see same when that forty hits you too. See someone get <laughs> stabbed up bad. Allegedly. You see clothing and blood in it. And that was part of the song that the police were down? Mm. They basically, I'm basically telling them, and I've seen some shit in it. I've seen some gory shit. Why can't I say that? It's bogus. No, it is bogus. You know? I asked, have you ever seen? No, I didn't say go say, and did you do it? Yeah. rip people out there. I didn't say that. That was the question. That was it a case the police would have, I guess, thought that song was offending anyone or? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That please, and do you know what it is? They, they know definitely it's going to hurt people's feelings, you know? Because it's... Was it made to cause offence? How to grow your online business. Damn, that mic is W, whatever he was using. This one? Of course. But it wasn't made not to either. It was just more of a thing where I'm saying what I'm saying, I'm expressing myself. I don't care who it offends. More of a thing like that, but... Music is an art form that should be left as an art and not done nothing else, like, period. Let me express myself just how an artist expresses their self on a, on, a, on, a, on a canvas. You know what I'm saying? But my canvas is a mic. Simple. Yeah, whether it offends anyone or not shouldn't be a reason whether I can share my work, basically. Share my story, talk my tale, talk my shit. On the back of that, can you see why Drew has such a bad name? Definitely. Definitely. I think Drew itself has breeded a lot of fucking idiots. A lot of stupid, basically, youths out here who have forced that way of life upon themselves because they think, rah, that's how you should be. It's a good way Seeing to it, it, is, it is very, like, like, it can make a young brain think, yeah, no, fuck that, that is great still. Because it's like, people respect dangerous people. People, they don't read that. You never know why some of these kids are getting 
encouraged by I feel like it can go both ways though like it could be somebody that's already in the streets listening to drill like damn this dude's been through a lot of the same stuff i've been through and look at him he's a rapper let me try to get on my rap shit or it could be like or it could be a like a, a kid out the suburb like man i'm getting bullied let me get on my bully you know what i'm saying it could go both ways by it but as much as it's bad it's got its perks like i said before people do brilliant things from drill they get their money, their wealth, they do good things for communities. Young other kids like them, who never. And that leads me on to my next thing. My, if I gain a certain level of success and wealth from music, what do you think I'm going to try and do with my platform? A lot of the police want to stop people like me and hinder people like me from putting our stuff out there. And then where does that lead man? When man can't make music no more and then man makes man decision, oh, this ain't going nowhere. Right back to where? The streets. But really and truly, if people like me are allowed to do a simply trapping people, I think get to where we probably deserve to be. Someone like me has got the mindset of I'm gonna try and fix shit because man, I like a lot of people might think Ray, well, he's rapping crap. He wants to see all these little youths moving, tap moving, charge, fucking up everything. No, no, really and truly. If I could reverse it, how I'm living now, with enemies and pain and whatever, I wouldn't have made it go that way. Because how my mindset thinks now, I'd rather go okay. everywhere in the world yeah. and have a friend, yeah. a partner, a business. That's deep. Colleague, anything. I haven't heard no music from her in a minute, but that's deep. I didn't know what you was on earlier. Like, I don't do the internet thing. Like, the internet thing is money as a money thing. Connections, <laughs> links, allies. Because in the world, how the world rolls around is there's useful people and there's useless people, my bro. And if you want to do stuff, real stuff like change shit and pattern shit, you have to really have resources everywhere. Otherwise, you'll only be limited to do stuff where you're from. And I made it to that round. Not everywhere, not everyone likes me. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. It was never going to be that way. But the enemies thing, the young youths need to stop forcing beef with each other and forcing this way of life because they think it's cool or the way to be. If you have a problem with someone, cool. That's the problem, isn't it? You have that. You have to deal with it accordingly. But a lot of these youths nowadays are just seeing drill rappers from my era and thinking, oh, fuck, every little problem has to get to that. Every little time I have to act like that, I have to move like that. Anyone talk shit to me, I have to stab them. I have to That's because a lot of people are moving off emotion and none of them is standing on real man business. You know what I'm saying? It, it take a man to call another man up and be like, bro, let's talk about it. Let's see where we can find common ground. It takes a man to do that, that got a great mind on his head. You know what I'm saying? It take a little boy to crash out. Simple. You know, how do I know that? Because I was a little boy once, so... Yeah. To shoot that, no, it ain't that. It ain't ever that. Real beef is real beef. Where people's been murdered, people's been... T and a lot of these little youths will cause dumbness out of just running up their mouths to each other on the internet and shit like that, you know? So it's like, yeah, man. With these little youths, I kind of think to myself, rah, them lyrics, if I put lyrics like that out there, duh, 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 the police shouldn't really interfere with it. Because someone like me, as much as I'm saying stuff that's... ...necessarily great, that's my story to tell. Let me continue to my story to roll on and these other kids will... It's crazy, man, how much individuality and... and, and being your own person and owning it and expressing yourself as being muffled nowadays, man, it's crazy. Also see how, yeah, I did do those things. I do rap about that shit. But what I'm doing now, though, what I'm trying to do now, what I'm trying to accomplish, that's big things. It's big, I'm not, I'm, they don't see me out here. What's it called, going and trying to recruit kids and make kids do nothing. They see me trying to use whatever I'm, my, my thing and doing to make actual things happen in the world. So I guess, if you want to be a good influence, I guess why, why not speak or speak about positive things? Because 
He's not from that. <laughs> what? Genre I'm a part of. Yeah. I'm a part of the start of drill. So I've already came into the drill scene as a drill artist. My thing now is I don't just predominantly do drill anymore. I do other music, other sounds, but I'm a drill artist, isn't it? I'm not going to stop doing what made my fans happy. Was I'm trying to make a living out of and do, but all because of drill's got a bad stigma, you know? Because it's more. I swear, if my platform ever gets big enough where I can put other artists' music on there and and let it go, and I have lawyers around the clock to be like, no, you can't do that. I'm on that. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Thing where drill's bigger than just people harming other people. Drill's business. It's a job. It's an entertainment. It's a yeah, it's a market. So I think everyone... It is, but people is really living like that, though. People is really living like that, and people have really walked that walk and stood ten toes down. And that's that's really what, you know, the ploy of drill is. It's IRL. This is really what happened in real life. <laughs> and this is what it looked like on my block. Raw. I'm not going to sugarcoat it or downplay it for you. And, and the mainstream media... The main people who back it can't handle that. <laughs> people can't handle that. What you're doing is you're letting everybody know that this neighborhood has been let down by the government when you rap like that. <laughs> and then people start pointing fingers at people in offices and whatnot. That's how that shit be going, man. <laughs> can do drill, but I don't think everyone should go out and be... That's not what I'm trying... That's not the message I'm saying. I'm saying if you want to do drill, it is rapping about dark stuff, bad stuff, but... If you've got a story to tell, or even there's a lot of rappers out here that's coming and just making shit up. They are. But do it, people enjoy it, people like listening to it. That's why drill is one of the one, one genres where I don't respect it if it's made up. Because, because like with great power becomes, you have great responsibility. And if you out here capping and making shit up and not really, like having really been through that, then what message are you putting out there? <laughs> Like what, what? Like you really? Like he said earlier, you feeding kids these lies and making them believe that you really like that when you're not, and you never have been like that, and you don't know nobody that's like that. Like that's why I don't respect. Got a good side. The lies and truth. And I want to talk about about the gang life within London uh, and gang culture. Um, yourself, would you say you've ever been part of a gang, or would you say you're part of a gang now, active or not? Put this way. Yeah, growing up, there was a lot of gang activity around me. But obviously, it's like, you better I'm from a gang of highly gang-affiliated area, innit? Yeah, so, it yeah, there was a lot of gangs and that growing up. I'm a, I'm hey, a good gang. answer. I'm a brand, innit? Forget a gang. You, at some point, you got to understand, a I gang is smart. nothing but a, a group of friends, a mob, you know, a clan. So, good answer. forget using words like gang and, you know, I got word. I use words like I got a team now and... I'm a part of a conglomerate. <laughs> you know, organization and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, no, nah, gang stuff was heavily involved growing up, boom, 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 when shit didn't matter. But now that shit's real, yeah, I'm part of a brand nowadays. And have you ever, I guess, been involved in that environment, ever ended up in prison? Yeah, definitely. The f it out. Yeah, at this, yeah. I recently, what's it, so you see, Recently, I've been out of jail for two years now. Before that, I couldn't stop going in and out of prison. What do you think that was? Just didn't value my freedom enough. Lennar has a hot selection of homes. That's a good answer. I like them. I like the Sykes. I like him. I like these little interviews because it gives rappers a, that you really didn't think could like express themselves. It gives them the platform to show you like, hey man, I can talk, like, let me tell you something. Said issues, gang issues, I went to jail for a couple of violent stuff, you know, other issues with just people doing doing stuff in it, but yeah, a lot of it was just trying to get some bread, to be honest. Had a mad incident, yeah, the last time I went to jail was nothing to do with no bread though, even though they did charge me for some class A shit later on in my sentence, but what I went to jail for the last time was a big fight with the police. What happened? 
long story short, they pulled me over for not having no insurance or nothing or none of that. These times I'm like young, so I'm just driving around doing the mad, mad thing. You get me thinking, yeah, fuck it. I want to drive, I'm driving. Yeah, so pulled me over or whatnot. But it's escalated from just a routine stop, them take the custody to them trying to take me into custody, basically, innit? My thing is this, I don't do no if, if you're gonna try to take me in, you're gonna you're gonna have to get me. I'm not gonna just go with you to no cell. I've been in a cell, I know jail, I know prison, I don't I don't like it there. Yeah. So try to arrest me. Try to run, one thing's led to another. We end up in a big fight, bro. They've sprayed man, pulling man's hand, punching man, whatever. One of them's got kicked. One of the couple of them's got punched, whatever. But it's a big fight in the middle of the road. So as man's trying to get away, man's actually fighting his police now. And it's got to the point where I didn't even get away from the scene. They would chip my tooth. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, is this. Got one too, buddy. It's been a big fight. To people in the traffic recording it, watching it, bibbing, saying stop. Man, shit's happening. I got arrested on the scene. Yeah, someone else got arrested later on down the line. I was in jail. Came out. Here I am. How long have you been out in prison now? Yeah, two years. Two years now, yeah. How old are you? Mm, 24, 25 this year. Yeah, he's still young. Yeah. And how long have you been in prison? In total, probably like five, five and a half. All I would say is, man, y'all got to start thinking outside the box of how to get, how to get, how to get this moving, man. Again, there's, there's many roads to the same path, man. Find one that don't got a lot of people on it. And you're 24. <laughs> yeah, 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 but obviously, charge it to the game. It prison time's done for me now. Trying to just, yeah. What was the worst thing you saw in prison? I saw some nut shit, you know. Prison's actually nuts, like. Like, let me tell you what's the maddest thing I saw in prison, yeah. There was, like, two Polish brothers. They were banged up together, innit? They basically made alcohol and that, innit? Made himself in there, innit? So they were drinking the whole night, <laughs> yapped off their face. They were in there cutting up themselves, basically. Now, fuck, I've got two things to tell you, but I'll tell you the other one after. They were cutting up themselves, basically, self-harming and that, but slashing each other as well, innit? And then... The whole of them was cut up, the blood it was everywhere on the wing, because obviously they have to get moved out of the cell to get taken to the hospital. So when they're moving, they're just dripping. So everywhere's blooded. Like, they basically had to like get real bio, bio people, biohazard people in there and clean it up before anyone could come out. Nuts. Then there was our next shoot. That was in HMP. Then there was one time I was in YOA. Mm. Them motherfuckers, oh, cause them guys were treating my new special car. He used to self harm in a weird way, like cannibalism, like buy his own flesh ball. So if they didn't, that like, he, he used to say to them, "I want a fag." Like this is a prison where there's no smoking no more. I want a fag. I want to smoke a fag now. We will see them sneaking him a little cigarette and that hair and the If they're all gay, he's gonna start chewing himself down. Madness. That's crazy. You gotta rephrase, rephrase that. He start chewing himself down. Sound crazy. I've seen. Well, then. He, yeah. he, he's gonna stop chewing himself down. Yeah, by his by his wrist. That was that like, cool. So he's got that like, flesh. Everyone got flesh on their wrist. So he just bite a little chunk out every time, bro. Start bleeding. Remember, he got he got vein arteries there. He can die. So if he didn't get what he wanted, he just bite he will chew it. It's not a bluff. He would chew it. Nah, it's not a bluff. He would chew it. Watch this. Watch this, yeah. Let me tell you what's matter as well. It's got to the point where even in jail, I've seen someone, like, run, basically throw some shit on the gloves and that, yeah, but so much shit. So much shit. The whole wing got locked down. Seven o'clock, this man is... Drive-by doo-doo throw? It's an incident, yeah. The whole night till the next, because they can't move us all after movement, especially after an incident like that happens. It's locked down the whole jail now. So we're in under our wing and it stinks of fucking human shit everywhere, bro. <laughs> and man's, it's coming under man's door and I can smell it. This is cooking wood these times. Fucking hell. 
Yeah, because Flo's a madman. <laughs> Anyone that was in Cooks here, yeah, 050, 060 times, you will remember this, because when Flo's fucking locked off the whole wing, cause. so it's like, they violated him first, you get me? They basically left him in his cell for time, not getting him dinner or feeding him dinner at his door, but it's cold and just not letting him out, you get me? So for days he was sh harboring up shit, cuz. <laughs> Even I think about it now, what he's putting it in is, you know, a little milk carton, bro. They used to give us little milk carton cooking wood, you get me? They treat man good in it. The food, they get little man prison them time there, you get me? My man's basically getting into, how are you getting the shit in there, bro? Infused with the milk. That's why it stinks so much, bro. Shit and milk. Have you, bro, yeah, hey, have you ever fucking smelled milk when it's off alone? With fermented shit. Cool, he rubbed us out. Uh, he could have gave us illnesses. Watch this, yeah? So, on the day where they finally been brave enough to open his door, because that's what's happening. They're not opening his door at all, tell a lie. Leaving his, still a lie, they mocked him worse. They're leaving his food out on the landing, bro. Saying, if you keep threatening us, we're not opening the door. My man's basically... Calm, calm down enough for them to believe him. Nah, he wants to take out his bin now, you get me? As soon as they open the door. <sighs> washing it at them, you get me? To the point where I'm seeing guns running, sprinting, my bro. <laughs> running away from him. He hit the guards with the Glock Dookie, that's tough. You get me? I would do the same. On a lawn that looks like this, but you're <laughs> That's violation, that's moving crazy. I'm definitely running from a Glock dude. Dang. <laughs> so not only has he done that, no. He's come out. He's basically, yeah, say, fuck that. I'm not banging up now. What? Da -da 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 -da. So what they've had to do is go off what the govs do. Right, show that, boom, boom, boom. But they had to be more strategic with this one car. It's how the wing is. <laughs> He's basically got table tennis tables here. Yeah. Come on, told him, put up a shield. You get me? Man, them on the wings charging him up these times. We're saying, yeah, kicking our doors. Saying, fuck them, but brother, that stinks. You get me? We must tell him, my man, open man's flap. Open man's flap so we can watch it. You get me? It's all going down. I must tell him, put, put newspaper there to keep the flap up. Giving him oil to grease up himself. We're saying, start up. We're in charge, bro. We're like, what? 60? What's oh, cooking wood? Yeah, 15 year old. Sick. And that's how that be, man. <laughs> get, get, think about that, bro in jail putting himself in a position where he's gonna get harmed or more time, or it's gonna negatively impact him. And there's dudes around him egging it on. That's how real life be. Look around you, man. Look around you. What's going on around you right now? There's people egging you on to fail, and you you crashing out. <laughs> you really failing because they egging you on. I'll be alone. <laughs> hey, Ian, you get me? So we're saying, bro, grease up, bro, grease up. We're all giving, this is how I think give him grease, yeah? I had to get a piece of paper from myself and push it through the gap and then pour the, the oil in there and it run through because he's trying to get a thing and grease up, you get me? So it's got to the point now where, mm, they've come for him now, but how he set it up is like a battlefield where there's a shield there, 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 he's here with chairs saying, come, first one to come, I'm gonna bust your head, you get me? And he's a big you. Remember, you know, we're like 50, so they're usually used to dealing with youths that's probably the tallest, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, this youth's like 6'4", and that. He's big, black, you get me? So he's, what's it called? Already got size over them, and he's angry, he's angry. You look violated, bro, so watch this now. They shielded up, they're saying, put that down. No, last chance, you get me? Well, he's, what they've done is they've kind of pushed through, you get me? He's kind of boom, lick, boom, boom, boom. But naturally, when they got shields, you got chair, there's only so much licks you can do before you're gone, you get me? But you weren't done yet. <laughs> now, this sounds too much like a story that's cap, but it's not cap. Watch this. They've got him down to the point Watch this. where they're holding him here, but. The youth's doing this. And he's getting up, my nigga. <laughs> I don't know, you think it's joke? He's a big youth, so he's getting up. What did he do? I don't know, but they've restrained him. He didn't end up getting back to his feet, but it was a good show. Remember, you know, we're supposed to be watching our TV, chilling. All I know is man had to wrap something on man's nose. 
try to tune in. You get me? Because you know how you can only see certain much. Uh, you wouldn't know, innit? But in jail, when you're looking through, you can only see a certain much through your door and the gap. You get me? You're all trying to. You get me? But you can't see. You get me? It's done now. You get me? So all I know is whether it was done or not, the shit smell after, inhumane. Couldn't sleep because I was thinking, fuck this. Putting the thing on my thing, putting tissue in my nose and sleeping uncomfortable too much. Moved us off. Come back. The wings still smell a bit funky, but it had that cleaning smell because I was like, cool, no mask tonight. So I'm like, yeah, prison's nuts, man. <laughs> Joe is crazy. You, there's, my stories, you think they're mad. There's probably worship people's. I've, I've seen a you, because in Wandsworth, yeah, there was a lot of Joes. There's pigeons on the wing with man, just living with man. There with man every day. Like, I'm waking up, walking up myself. You better mind you don't get shit on. Like, there's shit on there. I, I don't walk outside. I don't walk in my cell with shit that I wear outside. Because outside, there might be a bit of shit on the railing. But you like, get me, remember the cleaners are supposed to clean, but they're just prison rooms, bro. They ain't gonna clean it properly. But yeah, one man had the pet pigeon. The pigeon trusted him. Hey, listen. Anytime any other prisoner goes near pigeons, they fly away, you get me, do 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 or you get me, or we're not really trying to go near them. The guy made a little ledge thing on his window sill, yeah? So the pigeon knows what time it is. It comes there and he feeds it. And then I've seen one man catching pigeons and eating them. I swear, ah, oh, you see, Joe, you have to be there to see it. You have to- I'm talking about, you got it, you just had to be there. No. <laughs> be there to see it over you think, fam. This guy's chatting shit. Joe is matching that man. My Please. brother was catching them and eating them, bro. He was another youth that was mentally ill. Joe is mad. There's some madmen that shouldn't even be in jail, bro. They should be in a section, bro. Hundreds, but sometimes they don't get. It. You know, some man go for the madman thing, and they're not really mad, so they probably just get taken for one of them. You get me? And how long you been home? Like two years. Two years. Um, and I was. As I said before, man, I feel like, uh, as a cystic, the chances of you going back to prison would be high, I think. Yeah, definitely. Bear, bear the, when you do the, the ratio, definitely, it's like all the years that man's been in that job. This is the longest that I've been able to stay out. Like before this, the longest was seven months, the shortest three. Why do you think this time's different? Because. It's like, before when you go to jail, you're younger, yeah? You come out of jail and figure out other ways to not get caught doing certain shit, yeah? And then there has to be a time when you come out of jail and when you do nothing that can land you back in prison. So there's two different mindsets. There's making sure you come out and do nothing that can put you back, and there's coming out and trying to not get caught doing what you're doing. See y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. They should have gave that man an hour. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gone.